Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of October 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. <clears throat> The overall energy for the reading, the moon. I could take that as your energy. I could be like, you know, that's you. But it's not that. It is, it is, but it's not. It's a, there's something more to it. Of course, we're talking about water science here. Um, there's some stuff going on. I kind of see you pulling away from it. Uh, I see you not seeing all of what's going on. I see a lot of trust on your part, though. You know, because the moon does represent that things that we don't see, right? Um, <clears throat> when it's dark outside and it's just the moon out there, we're not going to see everything that we can see during the daylight, right? We're just going to see certain things. That's kind of how it's showing up here uh, for you. But starting off the reading, you get the King of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Cups. Um, I'm not sure if this is... In regards to a job, a project, something you've been working on, or some sort of a relationship here you have with someone. But there's a sense of detachment that's coming into play here. Um, on your side, in the sense of you're detaching yourself from something. In your focus, the Five of Pentacles, yeah, there's that split here. First, it shows up as... Emotional detachment in terms of you're there, but you don't care for it anymore as much. And then is the physical one at play potentially with the five of pentacles here. In the recent past, the tower, something may have happened that led you in this place. So, okay, I got to go. Uh, in your strength, the emperor, you're, you're taking it pretty well. Now, I don't know what exactly this is, but not that you're taking it pretty well. I'm sure it's it's not pleasant. It's just that... You're kind of stepping into your power here. You're like, okay, well, if this needs to happen, it needs to happen. Now let's get the best resources at play to, to deal with the situation. Now, in the immediate future, you get the five of swords. There's, <clears throat> there's a little bit of deception that's showing up here. Supporting this reading, the chariot. That's where I see you have a lot of trust in the process. Like, okay, this sucks. I need to go or I need to leave this behind. But there's got to be a reason, you know, for it. So I'll just trust that whatever's up ahead could be better, you know? Uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Nine of Cups. It's As long as you keep yourself balanced and kind of just allowing for these energies to pass through without getting you down or, you know, pulling on you there, um, you should be fine here. And I feel like you're that's exactly what you're doing, you know, trying to keep yourself in that very stable place within you. Um in your hopes and fears, the king of wands, there's actually quite the excitement to this too, in terms of, okay, this might suck, but what's up ahead? I may not know it exactly, but I'm kind of excited about it. You know, it's new, it's fresh, it's this, that, and the other. I don't know what gets you in this place, but you you seem to be a little excited about it. Um, for the potential outcome, the Hierophant. Yeah, as again, as long as you stay tuned to yourself and connected, um to your intuition, to that deeper sense of yourself. You should be fine here. And that's exactly the direction in which you're going with this one, by the looks of it. Now, let's clarify. <clears throat> let's do the moon. You get the king of wands, the hangman, the page of pentacles. Yeah, there's that standing still part to it all. You know, as things kind of pass through. Even your excitement about the next chapter here seems to be contained. Not not even contained. Yeah, you're feeling it, but you're letting it... You're not grabbing onto it like, oh, this feels so good. Okay, let me grab onto this energy because it feels good. No, you're just kind of neutral there. You're letting it pass. Okay, it wants to stay here for two minutes where I get excited and I feel like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 
I'll feel that. And then it goes. Okay. Okay. What's next? Oh, this energy. Oh, this one sucks. Oh, okay. You know? So kind of looking at things from that perspective there. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely, you're showing me that you've, you've learned how to do that, how to keep yourself in the present and just to stand still in front of energies. Um, it's a learned mechanism here. And you're showing me, yeah, it's, I've learned it. I'm still learning, you know, to, to stay in it, but it helps. I'm like, yeah, it does help. It definitely helps. Let's do the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, slowly but surely, uh, a chapter is definitely closing here. Um, and again, not sure. Well, with the King of Pentacles, that usually goes in the direction of maybe a job, maybe a house situation, something stable, something in the physical, um, something practical. So, But all three elements that clarified this are those of... Slowly but surely, I'm uh, packing up and going here. Let's do the Eight of Cups. King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. Right. I mean, it's coming through from a commitment perspective in the sense of maybe this was a job, you know, that you were at for a very long time or something. But there's also a sense of knowledge, of knowing that this day would come, you know? Um, uh, I don't know. You're showing me a sense of, yeah, there's this, there's my commitment to this energy and then it's going to be done at some point in time. And this is that point in time where it's happening or you're getting close to it. But you know, it, it, yeah, kind of giving me a sense of I knew it wasn't forever, you know? <clears throat> Let's do the five of pentacles in your focus. The hermit, the moon, the two of cups. Man, you got great energies here dealing with this. You know? You've, I mean, there's probably been a lot of healing on your side way before this to, for you to be able to, to deal with the energy of leaving something behind in such a way. Um... It's almost like everything you've worked for and everything you've been investing in yourself in terms of your own healing applies here. And it's like, I know I know exactly how to deal with things. Now, again, it doesn't make these things feel um, like, oh, my God, it's the best thing in the world that could happen to me. So it's, it's still going to feel a little heavy. It's just different because you're allowing for those energies to, to come through. There's no resistance there. There's no, oh my God, this is ending. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Du -du 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 -du. None of that yet, at least. It's just okay. All right, let's take things as they come. Kind of a deal. That's the main uh, energy here that you're showing up in. For the tower in the recent past, you get the Knight of Swords, the Temperance card, the Six of Wands. And it was it was going all right. It was going fine. It was moving forward and progressing this situation at a steady, fine pace. So there was nothing wrong with it. It's just that day came that that dead end for the situation showed up somehow. You know? Huh. There is that sense of inner knowing about it. I'm not sure how much from a conscious perspective you knew about it. Like, uh, well, you know, at this time, this date, it's all going to go down. I don't know if that's how it happened, but there's that sense of inner knowing that it was going to happen <clears throat> <clears throat> on your side. Uh, for the emperor in your strength, you get the high priestess, the queen of pentacles, the page of wands. Yeah, you're bringing in all of your tools acquired through your healing. You're, you're, I kind of see you opening up your toolbox and being like, what do I use for this one? Hmm, that's a good one. That's a good one. And you're not looking, you know, how sometimes we look to see what, what fits the, 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 the what key we need to, to see what fits the bolts and all of that. You're not even looking. You just know, okay, I need a 12 here, you know, or something. Um, you're just taking it out, you know, 
well, I need self-love. Um, <clears throat> I need to keep balanced. I need to stay balanced. I need to stay in touch with my intuition. And we'll just take it from there. And we'll just be open to whatever life brings. Kind of a deal. Taking all of that from your toolbox like no tomorrow. Like a pro. I'm like, okay. Let's do the Five of Swords in the immediate future. The Justice card, the Chariot, the Three of Pentacles. Ah, there it is. Because in this one, you're telling me, you know what, universe? You take charge and I'll trust you completely with the outcome of... Th there's a partnership here. You're showing me a partnership. And you're saying, universe, you do you. And then take care of this connection in whichever way you want. You know, almost putting it all in the hands of the universe. Uh, letting it all play out in the way that it wants to or it should. And I don't believe you in there because you have the five of swords attached to that. So you definitely have some sort of expectation. Even though you may say that and you may show up believing that you're actually leaving it to the universe. You know, um, my hands are off here. Like... For this connection, it can go whichever way it wants. There's definitely somewhere in there, you know, a little tiny bit of expectation uh, where you would see this going. So you're not fully trusting here. You're showing up as that, but you're not fully trusting. Not with this one. Let's do the chariot for the supportive energies. The four of cups, the knight of pentacles, the page of cups. Yeah, you seem a little upset with the universe here. You're kind of saying, universe, take this connection, do what you would um, with it so that, you know, it's it's going to turn out in the best way possible for everybody involved. And then the universe takes it, does whatever, and you look at that and you're like, hmm. okay, well, I trusted you with it. So, yeah, no, it's good. All's good here, universe. I'm not upset at all, but at all with how this is turning out not at all i accept it fully which do you seem upset <laughs> um so when you're upset about something we're upset about things because we have expectations over those things and then those expectations aren't met and then we get upset we get disappointed oh you know so that's why when you look like you're trusting fully you're not really if you have expectation tied up to it you're not really trusting that the universe will handle this and then, you know, as a confirmation to that, you look upset with the universe here. A little bit. But just enough to, to tell me, oh, yeah, there's an expectation there somewhere. Let's do the Nine of Cups in the Hidden Energies. The Devil, the Emperor, the Ten of Wands. There's a little... Um, so you are stepping into your power, which you're showing me. And I told you, you'll look like a pro when you do it. For some reason, there's times in which you're saying, oh, this is too hard, you know. And it's okay if you do that once, twice, maybe three times. I don't know. That's when you kind of overdo it. And you're like, okay, this is too hard. Okay, this is hard. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, it's kind of hard here, you know, like if you do it every two minutes, then you're feeding off that energy and it's going to make it harder than it actually is. So you have that tendency to, yes, you keep balanced, but then sometimes you fall off of it. And those times you kind of say, because mm, it's hard. Get it. Got it. it. It is hard. It's not easy to sustain this kind of an energy of just being all the time. Unless you're, you're Buddha or something, it's not going to happen, you know takes practice and that's exactly what you're doing and sometimes it happens that you're not there in that energy you know and those are the times in which you justify it with it's hard and i get it and you can do that of course but the more you do that the more you feed that energy and the harder it's going to feel so yeah it's, it's, it's definitely not going to be easy but keep on doing it you know King of Wands, in your hopes and fears, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the end of the road. It's something that you've been invested in, excited about, and things like that. And it's like, okay, it's not it's not there anymore. We're switching directions or something. Um, and you're, 
I feel like that's potentially the hardest part of it. You know, the fact that it was good, it felt good, and all of a sudden it's not there anymore. And it's like, do I accept that fully? You know, so I feel like that's where you're working on mostly on the, the sense of acceptance of whatever the hell happened. And then again, accepting that something else is opening up for you. Um, because this one's closed off or something. So, I mean, there's still, you know, little things here and there. Um, this is just you putting your own healing at work, basically, you know, working for you here. And there's still some parts that, you know, you're still working on. That's why it's going to be always work in progress kind of a thing. But it helps you out a lot through this experience, you know. For the Hierophant and the potential outcome, you get the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. You have that tendency, though, you know, to fall into the it's hard trap. Um, I don't know if you notice, but every time we say that to ourselves and then... Like if you say, oh, it's hard or, oh, I'm tired or, and you keep on saying that to you, you're going to feel more and more tired or it's going to feel more and more hard um, because we feed off that energy with our words, with our, not only our words, but our words take us there where it is hard. It's super hard. It's, and it is, it's, it's not an easy process. That's for sure. You know, it's a matter of, what do you do with that? How do you push in that energy? It's not easy. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Tell yourself 10 times that something is hard. It's going to feel hard as fuck. You know, acknowledge that it's hard and move on. It's not going to feel as hard anymore. Yeah, it's hard, but I'm doing this, you know, focus on I'm doing this anyway, instead of it's hard. So you have that tendency here. That's the most problematic energy that I'm seeing through all of this experience. Because it'll get you into pretty low places here. And I don't think you want to go there. Because for the most part, you're keeping the energy high here by just standing still. And allowing it to be hard, to be whatever it wants to be. But just let it go as any other energy. Don't get hooked on it. Oh, it's hard. Oh, man. Such a hard day. And such a hard this. And such a hard that. I'm so tired all the time. Da -da -da. You're going to feel that. You know? Not saying that you're not, but just let it pass like any other energy. From the universe, you get the death card, the six of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. Yeah, it's it's closing off a cycle. And it's looking like it's, you know, with how you're doing it, it's looking like step by step each day, kind of a slow process, but that's okay. Because it gives you plenty of time to, to deal with everything and just kind of put everything into order here. So it's looking like there's a closing of a chapter here somewhere through this. You're handling it perfect. Try not to feed off those energies of when it is hard. Acknowledge it, as I said, and let it pass on. And let it come and go like any other energy. You know, don't hang on to it. Uh, let's do the Native Spirit Oracle. <clears throat> Spirit of Fire. Ooh. I saw that here with that King of Wands. Card meaning, transformation, take risks, face your fears, break out of old patterns and conventions. Just because you've always done something in the past doesn't mean that you need to continue to do it in the future. Try something new, change your routines and habits, reach out in new directions. The thunderbird is rising in you, out of the ashes comes new growth and new beginnings. Your native spirit wants you to know, in native cultures, fire was thought to be a gift from the creator that carried the power of renewal. Fire can maintain life and it can destroy it. It is the warmth of the tribal fire, but it's also the thundering lightning bolt cast down from the sky. 
It can purify and transform, and it can annihilate. Fire represents your life force, the spark of life within you, and also the pure fire light. The spark of fire within you, and also the pure white light within you. The spirit of fire invites you to take some risks and face your fears. We often are reacting to situations because of preconditioned responses based on our self-generating definition of self. Every time you change an old habit, even changing to a different breakfast food, it helps you begin to step out of a limiting definition of self. Purification by fire creates transformation. Take care to keep your energy in balance. Fire that burns too brightly burns out, but a fire that's left to smolder dies. The journey. When you first awaken in the morning, focus on the emerging sunlight. Imagine that you are breathing in that light. Gaze unblinkingly into candle flame and focus your awareness on the inner flame within you. By doing this, you're activating the spirit of fire that dwells within you and around you. Imagine yourself to be a single candle flame, a campfire, a forest fire, electricity, lightning, the sun, and stars. Affirm this, may the light of the sun illuminate my heart, that my heart may illuminate the world. I just realized, didn't I just do this deck based on this? I had my suspicion. Didn't I just do this deck recently, like two readings ago or something? Because it's it all sounds so... Fam I know I did it recently for sure, but I don't remember how recently. This oracle. I gotta check that. It's, it's all sounding like I just read this yesterday or something. And I'm like, anyways. Uh, yeah, cool. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.